Hello. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how the Tetra Data Platform can be used to automate bi-directional workflows. The example we're going to be looking at is receiving data from an electronic lab notebook, an ELN, and sending it to a chromatography data system, or CDS, and then coming back, retrieving the results from the CDS, and pushing them back into the ELN. In terms of the overall workflow, what we'll see is data originating in Signals Notebook and arriving in the Tetra Data Platform as a raw file. This will initiate a number of events to transform that data into a more actionable format and merge it with a template sample set method from Empower. This then writes a new sample set method into the Empower database, which can be used for the experiment. We're going to go through this step by step. Now our experiment will start in the ELN. In this case, we're using Signals Notebook. The sample information will be created here and will be picked up by our Signals connector, which runs on a Tetra Hub, a Tetra Science component that simplifies the communication between on-premise software and the Tetra data platform. Now back to our Signals Notebook. We're going to select our Empower project and template sample set method. And then we're going to use an external action to send this table to TDP as a CSV file. You can see that's uploading now. This information will be dropped into the Tetra data platform as a raw file. Let's move over to TDP and see that file landing. Okay, here it is. I can see my sample names and my vial numbers. Other information could be added into that table in the ELN and would also be visible here. The file arriving in TDP will trigger a pipeline to harmonize that data into our Intermediate Data Schema Format, or IDS. So if we go back into TDP, we can look at our current pipeline status, and we have our pipeline is just about to run. This will trigger another pipeline to take data from that IDS and query Empower via our Empower agent for a template sample set method. It will then merge those two pieces of data together to create a new sample set method with the sample information from the ELN. We'll then send that data to Empower via our Empower agent. The scientists can then run their experiment using that sample set method, which we can see right here. When the instrument run is complete and the results are generated, they'll be picked up by that Empower agent and dropped into TDP as another raw file. This will trigger another pipeline to harmonize that raw data into our IDS. This JSON-based representation of the data makes it very easy for it to be queried by the Signals connector so that the results can be inserted back into the Signals notebook. And now we've completed that round trip workflow. It's important to note here that we're using two particular tools, Signals Notebook and Empower CDS, but these could easily be replaced with other informatic systems or chromatography data systems of your choice. For example, we could use IDBS eWorkbook instead of Signals through our IDBS connector. And we could use Chromelian instead of Empower with our Chromelian agent. The overall data flow and structure remains the same. It's very easy using this integration paradigm to mix and match informatic systems and chromatography data systems, freeing you from vendor lock-in. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration today. Please get in touch with one of our team if you have any questions.